Brian here, another day, another video. So I'm working on this 1973 Crown Supercoach. Uh, yesterday, I took this starter off and I took it to Wayne's Battery in Athens, Tennessee. They turned it around in less than 24 hours with a full rebuild for $136. What a deal. Completely freed this up so that it moves, cleaned the whole thing up. This motor has eight brushes. They replaced them all, went through it, made it in like new condition. Absolutely amazing. Can't recommend them enough. Um, so I'm gonna put this back in. I bought a little tiny jack to help me out. Um, I was gonna buy one at Harbor Freight, but they've gone way up on prices. So, you know, they wanted like 30 bucks for a little jack and $20 for a uh, bottle jack. Well, Walmart had this one for $14. You know, it'll do. I just need something to help hold it up there um, while I bolt it in place. So this will more than do the trick. So uh, at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everything up underneath the bus and I'm gonna get set up and change into my mechanic suit and then we'll put it together and see how it looks. All right, friends. So, uh, we're up under here. I like finding wires under here. I wonder what that does. Hmm. Sure looks like a shutdown solenoid on the throttle. I hope this thing shuts down. looking for spiders because as y'all know I hate fucking spiders <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna do this Delco Remy starter. Okay, that ain't gonna work. I don't have the strength to lift this thing up. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna probably have to call for help. There is no way that I can do this. All right, so while I wait for help to arrive, I've got some 3M heavy duty electrical tape and I'm gonna see if I can work some magic on this. Start with a little piece because this stuff's kind of expensive. Oh yeah, that's what we want. So the problem we've got is critters got in here and worked evil on this wiring harness. I don't know why wires are so attractive to rodents, but they are. So I bought some heavy duty rubber tape that will repair this 
so I don't have to replace it because these cables are really expensive. And because they're wired directly to the battery, I don't want any chances of having a short. Now this tape was about $10 for 10 feet, so it's really some of the most expensive electrical tape I've ever bought. But it looks like it's thick enough to replace the missing insulation. Just fine. Looks like I've got another little bit of it to do. And then I'm good. And that looks to be the only real place that Critter tore up. bit more. done that's a good repair so I want to cover this with a second layer of electrical tape because it's really important that it be right all right so I'm starting the YouTube stuff okay uh, so I've got to adjust this shim plate it is clock specific is it yeah hey, you're off back here yeah, they there are on. yeah all right I've got to flip over because it's just not quite enough clearance to do this. Yeah, the Why easy way. They? Not well, that sandwich clock specific. All right. Okay. Let me get. So, let me get under the backside. Uh, all right. Lean it up a little bit. Get my hand under it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Hang on. I'm gonna. There's a notch that it it, it fits into. Okay. There it is. Alright, now I'm just going to grab a bolt while I levitate. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't do this without you, Gary. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Like I said, timing is perfect. That was headed this way. Alright. It actually left the house already when I got your text. Oh, shit. If you'll give me one, I'll get that up started back over here. Alright, here you go. And i got to switch hands. Shit, I can't reach that one. I'll just have to deal with that okay, later. Help me hold it a little bit. Alright, yeah, I can get this one up enough to... Okay. Ready? Yeah. 
Well, and if you just get it started, it'll hang there, and then I, I can use the extension to get the upper one. Okay, I've got it over halfway in. Okay. Yeah, it'll there hang. We go. You know, this really is set up right to be worked on. Uh, whoever did this... Obviously... Oh, I hate spiders. God damn, I hate spiders. There's threaded holes over here. Is there some kind of support for this thing? Uh, where? There's threaded holes over here about the middle of the... Oh, yeah. They're about four inches this side and right in the middle of the start. Oh, huh. I'll have to look at them here in a second. Yeah, there's some more right on top, so maybe something, maybe a different motor mount or... or uh... Yeah, this motor is literally turned sideways. All right. Is it? Okay. Yeah, it's started at this point. I even bought a cheap Harbor Freight torque wrench. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I figure it's calibrated for the first 30 seconds. Yeah. You know, I was really surprised. I was gonna buy a jack from Harbor Freight, but they've gone up in price so much. Have they? And um, I guess you gotta Walmart catch them, was actually cheaper. Catch them when they're on sale, I suppose. Yeah, I think they're trying to raise their margins, so they're playing games. Oh man, it hurts my hands. <sighs> wow. These wobble extensions are fantastic. It looks like I screwed the, the camera angle up. Oh well. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. So I guess this is a tachometer that reads the flywheel. Huh. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to torque it to what I think is right. <laughs> I don't really have any specs on it and then I got to sort out these cables and put them back where they went um, okay. if you want I can give you a buzz in a little while and we can try and fire it up okay um, all I gotta do is make up a panel over there oh, okay for the day and then get a material list so all right yeah if you'll holler at me yeah I'll be real excited to see it fire up and, and I, uh, I, I stopped so uh, I had some help there getting getting uh, things set up and I've got my uh, Harbor Freight torque wrench here I don't know what this torque spec is so I've set it to a hundred pounds because these are spline bolts and that suggests that it was uh, that they're they're high um, torque And now I'm not going to go straight up to the torque setting. I'm actually going to snug everything. Sorry if you guys keep getting elbows and faces and and whatnot. It just kind of comes with the territory sometimes. You know, it's really amazing how inexpensive these Harbor Freight torque wrenches are. I remember when torque wrenches were really expensive, and if you wanted one that clicked, you paid dearly for it. disadvantage here <clears throat> probably gonna get that one from the other side <sighs> I think the uh, angles are better from the other side I can lift instead of trying to 
be underneath here and wedged in. So I'm gonna roll around to the other side to get that last one. <clears throat> There we go. done but I'm gonna do it one more time So that's in. That's awesome. All right, so now we've got, we've got a little bit more cable work to do. So let me change out some stuff and get started. Right, so I know I'm kind of bouncing around on this, but this is just how it goes sometimes. So I'm gonna finish repairing this damaged insulation. It's 2228 3M moisture sealing heavy duty rubber tape followed by a layer of just regular old 3m cheap electrical tape it's good stuff necessary to retape it a second time but you know what it didn't hurt nothing and it simplify it reduces the opportunity for these direct to battery cables to rub and touch something and that my friends is really truly what matters now it looks like this has been a problem before because there's some rubber hose clamped to this metal here There we go. All right. 
So now I've just got to sort out my cables. I'm reasonably certain the big ones go up here. And they definitely seem to want to go back up there. And then my little ones come over here. gonna go ahead and put the bolts on but I'm actually taking a little bitty detour I've got this wire that belongs up here and I want to get it routed and installed because these cables are really flexible right now and it's not gonna get easier to do So we gotta figure out what size this is. Because apparently it's not the size that I have a wrench for. I don't know why I had a 9 16 down here. I don't know what it went. Oh, oh, I know what it was. The spline bolts are 9 16 
right, I have a torque wrench, so I'm gonna torque these. I'm not gonna torque them to 100 pounds, but I am gonna torque them. these under here I have to get out from under here to read this so they're copper bolts and I think 35 pounds is about right. So that's what I'm gonna set them to. check my torque setting. I'm gonna go ahead and step it up to 50 pounds because it just didn't seem very tight at 35. And I discovered that the end of this will lock the wrench. Uh, second thought, that's a bad idea. didn't feel right. Alright, so that's good. So I stepped it back to 40. Alright. So at this point, that's in place. Now I need to do some wire ties.
don't like cables hanging down that are critical to the operation of my vehicle. So, pretty much the last thing that I have to do under here is repair the tachometer senders. Now, I'm not 100% sure why it's set up like this, but whatever. This is not going to be right, so we're just going to do it, and if it doesn't work, we'll reverse it. The reality of it is it's not the right wire anyway. It should be stranded wire on a vehicle, never solid. either these are too small so we're just gonna twist them all right so I decided I'm tired of crap falling in my eyes so I have acquired some glasses which are blinding me stranded wire, huh? We darned. that is that so I've got the starter back in um, I'm gonna do a separate video for uh, starting it um, Gary the previous owner wants to be here when we fire it up I think that's only fair 
It's been sitting for 15 years. Uh, it, the bus belonged to his dad, and it was a, it's a kind of a family possession. So, um, at any rate, I'm gonna honor that. Um, and uh, at this point, what I need to do is uh, hook the batteries back up and uh, just kind of chill for a bit. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like my video and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Feel free to comment below. I'll respond to them eventually. And thanks for watching.